Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back here, still in the College of Winterhold. In the last episode, we spoke with the Augur of Dunlane in the Midden about whatever the heck this thing is. And and, and we actually sought him out because the Sigic Order knows him, somehow. But the Augur of Dunlane said we need to find the Staff of Magnus, and we should come to Savos Arin for more information. I'm I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then he just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. Alright, so I think that that was a speech dialogue that I must have missed because we're now in the in the Hall what of the you Elements. Here will last you a lifetime. Several if you're talented. And we're no longer in Ooh! Okay, no. Um that is a dark elf trait. I just realized It's no secret that the college's reputation in Skyrim is Tainted. I just realized that the Archmage has red eyes, and I was like, are you a vampire? But no, he's a dark elf. Dark elves have red eyes. Okay, it is not the place of the college to become involved in local politics. Okay. Have no. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I have important information for you. Really? And what might that be? Was there a bit of a condescending tone in his voice? I'm literally doing all the work here. We need to find the Staff of Magnus. I'm sorry, what? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not really sure that any of us need it. It's connected to the orb we found. And how do you know of this? I... I spoke with the Augur of Dunlane. Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the Staff of Magnus? Yes, sir. I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Huh. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. I could do... What do I do next? Or, or no, what, what should I do next? Or you mean me, don't you? I'm gonna go, go with what should I do next? A most impressive attitude. Huh. Keep this up. And you'll do quite well for yourself. I might find myself Something the Archmage of College Winterhold. Something as ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabel mentioning the Staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable oh. to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. A cir mage's circlet added. Uh, I started revealing the unseen. And I need to speak with Mirabel. What is this circlet we got here? Mage's circlet. Increases your magicka by 50 points. That's nuts. That, that is a very awesome item. Thank you, uh, Savos. Now, now I just realized, ladies and gentlemen, if, if we need to go to, to Labyrinthian in order to get the Staff of Magnus, we, we may have to spend a couple of episodes, um, this one included, in, in Labyrinthian because it's, it's such an interesting place. And I want to do Shalador's maze oh poor mirabelle is sleeping please don't bother the archmage unless it's absolutely necessary <laughs> i thought that she was going to say please don't bother me it's like i'm sorry you were sleeping and and now i'm standing right in your face do you know anything about the staff of magnus well now that's an odd question <laughs> why in the world would you be asking uh um Archmage Arryn said you mentioned it recently. I see. Well, yes, I suppose I did mention it. Though I'm not sure what he expects me to tell you. I only brought it to his attention a few months back when the Synod showed up here looking for it. The Synod? They were apparently under the impression we were keeping it in a closet somewhere. Hmm. Who are the Synod? Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the Imperial Authority on Magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. Mm -hmm. I was quite surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... 
uneasy. It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. Okay. So no one knows the staff's location. No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mizulft, but that's all I remember. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mazulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. Interesting. Okay, so we are not going to uh, Labyrinthian this episode. I swear, isn't the staff of Magnus in Labyrinthian? I can't remember why we would be going to Mazulft. What else can you tell me about the staff of Magnus? I'm not really sure. Made and used by Magnus himself. If you believe those sorts of things. I believe I've heard it said that it's the only thing that could adequately contain his power. The sort of embellishment wizards of ancient times loved to make. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I, I wanted to, uh... So we have to go to... We have to go to Mazalt. I'm thinking about... I'm, uh, I'm thinking back to our... Ethereum Forge little jaunt and and I forget what Mazolft was. Oh oh yeah, 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 Katria. For a storage site for raw Ethereum just outside a major city. Okay, yeah, sweet. Okay, so that is what oh and it was harmonically vo volatile. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is what Mazolft is. It's a storage site for raw Ethereum. Okay, so I suppose that that is that is why we got to go Even to Mazolft. Even with the college's laid-back attitude, there are still some things that are off. And now I don't I don't remember if I just. Well, ladies and gentlemen, since since we have been there already, we can hop. We we can quickly just hop on over there. But yeah, I don't remember if Mirabelle said this or if I just read this on Google, but... Oh. Uh, leave it. I don't know what that was about. Stop it! What am I doing? I'm trying to move on the map. Okay, there we go, and I keep on pushing the wrong buttons. But yeah, I don't remember if Mirabelle said this or if I read this on Google, but... But we need to go to Mazalt because the Synod are here. And if the Synod are, are inquiring about the Staff of Magnus, they probably know more than we do. This, gosh, I love the south east of Skyrim. If I can get off the dang horse, here we go. Yeah, 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 like what time is it? Ooh, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I love this time. The sun is coming up, the sky is blue, and steam from this Dwemer ruin is just... Pumping away. <laughs> yeah, and we're actually a bit more north. It's not in a fall setting like it is with Riverwood. Riverwood? No, um. Riften. Riften. I almost said River Run as well. <laughs> so, so, so I thought about Game of Thrones. All right, here we go. We are old. Ooh. Gone. Ah! Oh, this poor. Blind. Apparatus in Oculory. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, um, so this guy uh, just died. Poor guy. Resolve key, research log, blue mage robes. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to read this. Um, I'm not going to read it as good as I read that other book. That was an edited reading. <laughs> This is me just reading right off the cuff. I am not a very good reader, ladies and gentlemen. How long is this? Okay, it's only like a page and a half. Okay, Attendant Gavros. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yep, Gavros. Um, the, the council has become aware of the lack of progress in your group's efforts. They are particularly displeased to learn that your specifications for the focusing crystal were completely incorrect. Its entire binders con... Conclave has worked tirelessly, and the council is quite sure this new quest. Wow, this new crystal. <laughs> it 
It's like I'm Barry Quipkey off of the Big Bang Theory. This new crystal will suit your needs. You are herewith entrusted with delivering the crystal to the site, completing your work, and delivering a full report to the council with all possible haste. The council trusts you will deliver the crystal to the oculori personally, and that there will be no further complications. First adjunct uh, or 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 rel. All right. Well, that's a name. Okay. So yeah, the synod are doing something with a focusing crystal in the oculori. That guy's name is Gavros, and we need to speak with. Uh, that guy's name starts, starts with a P and here's a pressure plate. Lydia, I swear, do not. Okay, we have another dead synod researcher. I assume they probably got attacked by the Falmer. It's probably time to get our stuff out. And maybe a quick save. Oh, okay. Nope, it's a dwarven spider. Okay, wait, I got... I, I gotta adjust my swing here on this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I paused it just as the spider leaped and is about to attack Lydia. Okay. Yep, we're getting our bound swords out. Because I'm pretty sure that these... I mean, it makes sense that these robots... Um, they repel... They repel, they repel... Fire! Fire does not hurt them. Oh, I didn't search the other one, dang it. There's probably a soul gem in there. Yep, soul gem and dwarven oil. And... Orshalam... Orshalkam ingot. I still have... Oh my gosh. That... You know what? Um, <laughs> Watch, like, at the very end of this Let's Play. I will finally learn how to pronounce that word, if I'm even saying it right. But yeah, I apologize for my slow <laughs> reading. I am just not a big reader. Um, um, and it's not that I don't like reading, it, it's just hard for me to just sit still and, and sit still and quiet and read. Um, I do great with audiobooks. I can listen to audiobooks. I listen to, to other people read, and then I continue to do other things, like, I don't know, like, um, work, chores, whatever. Right, I opened up a door, and I avoided the trap. There, there are two doors in here. I don't know which is which. Alright, I'll try the trap door first. Maybe it doesn't go around, and it just goes down to a little room. Another spider. There are a lot of these guys. So yeah, because I haven't... Because I don't read much, my reading skills are definitely lacking. But that's okay. Uh, scroll of dead zombies. Not my reading skill, my reading speed. <laughs> Okay, fine. That is enough. Talk about that. Let's get back into our Dwemer Ruin, where I'm sure at some point in time we're gonna encounter the Falmer. Boy, there are so many spider workers. And now the battle music kicks in for all of five seconds here. <laughs> Door. You know what? I think this is one thing that I always hated about Dwemer Ruins way back when is because these rooms are so big and continuous and the, and the enemies are so difficult and then I would forget to save and then I would be so far behind. All right, this Dwemer Ruin has opened up into a cave now. It's a cave with a chandelier, so it's definitely a part of the city. Ooh. Moonstone ore vein. That is the second moonstone uh, moonstone ore vein I've seen. I have a pickaxe here. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna work on. Oh, freak. Okay, 
So this this bug, you you know the charises. This bug is like a charis, but it can fly. <laughs> it's a wonderful creature, um, and I believe this this creature came in with one of the uh, one of the expansions. All right, we're gonna get our bow out on this one, and then run and yeah, it is a. Charis. Oh, freak! Okay, go, Lydia, go, 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 go! The, these things are the freaking worst. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank you, easy difficulty. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Charis. I feel like this is always a word up for debate. Is it chitin or is it chitin? <laughs> C-H-I-T-I-N. I've always heard chitin, but I've heard both ways. Oh, we have another synod researcher. Ooh, a scroll of paralysis. Did he take that himself, or or no, he's just dead. Scroll of harmony, blue mage robes, no information. But yeah, we're still learning about the synod. Why did the synod c come? Oh yeah, it was about some like focusing crystal. I'm in a knapsack, uh, some gold, some food, a gold sapphire ring, nice, and a health potion. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, we're moving along here. There's a trip wire. Let's activate that. And then a little gate opened up and a bunch of boulders fell out. That probably would have killed me. Great, another, it's a stupid actual... Lydia, what what are you getting hurt on? Jeez, Lydia steps over boulders and she's taking damage. No, this Charis is chasing me! Lydia, get it! <laughs> Sorry, I probably just like peeked the mic there and just blew everyone's eardrums. Oh my gosh, Lydia's hurt. Ugh! This stupid, disgusting... Oh, great. He's shooting his little oily poison at me. Uh, Lydia. Lydia, where are you? Gosh, dang it! Uh. Come on! I hate, I hate these chars. Lydia's down. It better not be over, Lydia. Come on. Get it together. Come on, shake it off. There's the Charis. Lydia's still down. Lydia, will you get up? <laughs> Great, he threw his oil so far at me. All right, Lydia's up again. Come on, Lydia, give it a chomp. Ah, yeah, I got the arrow there. That was such a cool animation that that did. There's nothing good. It, I mean, I know you can make armor out of this chitin. Um, but yeah, I'm not interested. I believe that is actually what the Falmer make their armor out of. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lydia's tripping over rocks again and losing health. Okay, here we are. We're 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 now out of that cave and back into a ruin. The ruins of the deep elves. All right, here we go. Here we go. Nope, 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 nope. nope. I'm running. I'm running, ladies and gentlemen. Um, a sphere came out. One of those dwarven spheres. And Lydia is. Oh my gosh, Lydia. <laughs> Fine. Addy. Lydia, are you going to play or not? All right, we got Lydia out. No. Oh, we got Addy out. Lydia's standing up again. Come on, Addy, this way. We're proceeding back into the room. Can I sneak? All right. This, this, this sphere is up at the top of this giant ramp. I wonder if I can get the jump on him. I have an arrow at the ready. 
Let's see what we can do here. He's fully alert. There he is. Okay, here we go. Go, 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 go. Of course I freaking missed. There I got him that time. All right, guys. Come on. Come on, team. Yes. Good, 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 good. Yes, he is focused on Addy. And then Lydia killed him. And oh, good job. Oh, my gosh. I, I have the best team in the world. Two greater soul gems that guy had. Amazing. Okay, we have a, a gate with some good stuff behind it. Behind an adept lock. What we got in here. Do I have enough Dwemer cogs? I've been collecting Dwemer cogs for something we might be hitting here in the near future. Some Dwarven metal ingot. Amulet of Zenithar and an Amulet of Stendar. These are both really valuable. And I'm going to have duplicates, but I can sell them later. Um, Amulet of Debella. My gosh. Um, ooh, a necklace of major haggling. Prices are 17% better. That's amazing. What is this? Is this the Synod doing this? Um, they are putting all of these amulets of the divines into these chests. I wonder if, that is, if that's actually a thing and those aren't just randomly generated items. Just poking around for any extra dwarven metal ingot. Okay, we are, we're up at our next door. There's a dwarven spider. I, I got the jump on him here. As long as I don't miss. Got him. Got him. Yes! My sneak increased. Two shots. Uh, one kill. <laughs> I guess that's not very efficient. Okay. Gosh, another sphere. <laughs> I was going to say another freaking sphere. Another speaking sphere. Alright, there's Addy. Let me get my bow back. Alright, Lydia is very much in the way of my arrows. Lydia's axe does so much damage. It's ridiculous. Oh, and that was a filled greater soul gem. I didn't even get a chance to take a shot because Lydia was in the way the whole time. Oh, another Dwarven spider. He doesn't see us. I hit him. Oh my gosh. Well, I can't hit him again. There we go. Okay, that's our next way. But there... I found our next door, but there's like a pit here. What is common soul gem in this um, spider and malachite ore? That's cool. Uh, is there a way you know, I guess I've never tried this. Like a smelter? Like like, like here is just, just a block of solid dwarven metal. Can I take that to a smelter and smelt it down into ingot? I think so, right? Like, wouldn't all that stuff count as, as I guess, dwarven metal ore? That would make sense to me. I've never tried it, though. Alright, gold, stamina, potion of true shot, sapphire. Necklace of immunity. Amazing. Increases poison resistance by 100%. Steel sword of arcing. Uh, it just does 10% shock damage, and it's not that great of a sword. And it's heavy. It's iron. Or it's steel. Okay. Um, I do want to take one of these solid Dwarven Metal blocks, actually. Um, I've never tried that. I want to try to put, put that in a smelter. And see if I can do that. It also weighs 25 carry points. So if it's too heavy, I'm just going to just let it go. <laughs> I'll drop it later if I can't hold it anymore. Okay, we're, we're in a massive room here, multi-tiered. There is the level I'm on, and then there's a lower level. 
And I think I saw movement in the distance. It's very foggy or steamy in here. Oh yeah, there's a sphere. Maybe I can get a good initial shot on him here. And, and, and then Lydia will finish taking him out. Got him. Got a shot. I missed. I missed again. All right, Lydia. Anytime, Lydia. Anytime. All right. There goes Lydia. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. It's it's so ridiculous how, how powerful Lydia's axe is. And it's not running out of power either because it's still... I mean, it's still throwing flames. Okay, here we go. Spiders. Oh, two of them. Okay, 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 okay. Do flames work on these guys? Ooh. You know what? That's a good question. I don't know. I just cast flames on both of them and it did nothing. Ah, when I was out shopping around last time, I should have grabbed... Um, a more powerful flame spell. Alright, I'm... I got some here that'll push me over the edge. <laughs> it, it's these pistons that go in front of the walkway. Okay, yep, I'm just jumping on top of them. Best, huh? Lydia pushed off, and now she's threatening the pistons. <laughs> Oh, Lydia. She she is fantastic, but but man. All right. Well, we're going to move on. We are moving on into the next room, and here is a dead Falmer. A dead Falmer and dead dwarven spiders. Uh, ebony ore and 30 gold. That's awesome. Hey, yeah, what level are we? We're at a level now that is high enough where we can start getting ebony ore. Alright, right, at the top of this giant ramp, we have more dead fallen, more dead spiders, and then we have a quest marker on on our next door. Falmer ear, yeah, this is a fun little um, alchemy ingredient. Moonstone ore. Nice. They mined it for me. <laughs> Alright, this is the Mazolft Boilery. I wonder what they do in the boilery. Okay, we still have... Dead... Dead spiders and a dead sphere around here. So someone is still coming through here and... And cleaning up shop. And then I'm just scavenging all this stuff. <laughs> There's, here we are, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We found a Falmer. One, one that's actually walking around. Okay, yep, let me get Addy and then Dawnbreaker out. Wow. That did not alert the Falmer. Now, in theory, the Falmer are blind. And so they wouldn't see you sneaking up behind them. But, but, but they are... And I missed. They are very good at hearing. Amazing. 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 So you need to have a very high sneak level... If you want to get the sneak advantage on a Falmer. Which is interesting as well. They're supposed to be blind. And, uh... Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, no, I actually think, lore-wise, they were made blind by the Dwemer. Because they didn't become blind in these ruins. <laughs> Wow, okay, yeah, that was pretty cool. I was flaming him and hit him with my sword, and Lydia hit hit him with her axe, and I think Addy threw a fireball at him. 
like this guy had max health and it flew down to nothing. But because, I mean, there's light in, in the Dwemer Ruin. We can see perfectly fine in here. So I don't know if it, if lore wise, it's supposed to be pitch black in here or if it, um, and it's just a game mechanic just so we can see. Or, or if they're actually cannon wise, there is light. And I do think cannon wise, there is actually light because there's a chandelier right here. There is a fire chandelier right here. So, so yeah, they can see. Which then actually leads to the... Which then I think confirms the, the idea that the Dwemer forced them to, to be blind. And I've heard by having them eat... Oh boy. Back it up a little bit. And I've heard by... Um, by making them eat some sort of like poisonous mushroom and that mushroom rendered them blind okay interesting we have three gates in here these are almost like jail cells one is two are locked and a third is open that goes into a, into a cave in the back. Wait, no, hang on. Yeah, yeah, those are cell doors. Let's see what this is. Expert lock. Great. There we go. All right, what do we have in here? Dwarven spider. Boy, this is a, an, a, an episode of me just just looting <laughs> these geez, a filled greater soul gem just ju just looting all this stuff I'm gonna become overweight and it's just gonna be all 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 soul gems <laughs> open up another cell this one is just empty it didn't even have a lock on it Okay, let's proceed forward. This is yet another cell that has a hole in the building's wall busted out and then a cave or a tunnel dug into it. And there's Falmer stuff out here. So I believe maybe the Falmer, well, yeah, probably, yeah, the Falmer created this cave. Oh gosh, a stupid freaking Charis. I hate these things. I hate these things. I hate them. <gasps> My destruction increased. It's about freaking time. I've only been casting flames for a total of five hours to go up one level. All right, another Falmer. Get in here, Lydia. Lydia. There she is. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh my gosh, two more Charises. Ah, yeah, I froze one. Oh gosh. He was already dead for probably a full second and I'm still just flaming him. But so far, so good. A farmer chest, 18 gold. I do kind of like that, though. Uh, that, like, if they put um, little treasures in these farmer chests. Like I, like, I opened up a farmer chest a bit further back, and it just had, like, a steel battle axe in it. What is that? I found a Synod researcher, but an enemy popped up on my on my compass, and yeah, it's a Falmer. Oh, and this Falmer is like a witch Falmer. A Falmer Skulker. Yes! Super chopped her face with, with Dawnbreaker. 
Okay, here we go. We got a Synod Researcher. Staff of Harmony, Blue Mage Robes. Dang! Is that is that all these Synod Researchers got? I And I said Staff of Harmony, I think. It, it was a Scroll of Harmony. Is that all these Researchers got? Are Scrolls of Harmony. They think that they're going to beat the farmer with all these har Harmony Scrolls. Um, here's another Synod Researcher that has been dragged into a into a Falmer tent. Blue Mage Robes. This guy does not have um, a Scroll of Harmony. Huh? Excuse me, Lydia. Probably used it already and still got killed. Poor, poor lady. Okay, where are we going next? Yeah, this quest really does bring back a lot of nostalgic memories. Because, yeah, I, I think I've done the College of Winterhold in just about every single playthrough I've done. Okay, another stupid freaking Charis. Flames is a pretty good mid-range. Pretty good mid-range attack. If it did anything... <laughs> Like, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, and my destruction doesn't go up very much. Why am I using it? I don't know. I'm just trying to get, I guess, whatever kind of destruction. I'm trying to learn. I'm at the College of Winterhold. I'm trying to learn and practice destruction magic. All right, here we go. We got another Falmer here. It's more of my Blade of Woe that is doing the most work here. <laughs> Major chopped his neck. A major chop. Ooh. A door here with a master lock. Barely even got a... Hmm. I do like lock picking with a controller better because I feel like... A controller has a softer touch than a keyboard key. <laughs> oh, man. I only have 16 lockpicks left. Oh, there it is. I found the sweet spot. Ah, I just missed it. All right. Yeah, it's it, it, it's like just above the 9 o'clock position. Dang it. There goes another lockpick. Oh, nope. Got to go down a little bit. Yes, there it is. Lock picking increased. Oh yeah, it did. Ooh. There's a skeleton in here. Oh my gosh, that's interesting. What is his story? Oh, yep, and he has a journal. Yeah, yeah, I wanna read that. What is this guy's story? First, I'm gonna loot the place. Mazal for room key. Uh, in this chest, we have a garnet, lesser soul gem amulet of RK, and in a circlet. A nice looking circlet. A like it was like a copper ruby. Okay, here we go. The 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 lunar lorkin. <sighs> Pick up the book. Don't hit the skeleton. Alteration increased. This guy's name was Fall Droon. Fall Droon. Fall Droon. How long is this book? Uh. Okay, this isn't. This isn't so much about our current quest at hand and Mazolft. This is a guy's research on on Lorcan. Yeah. Yeah, this is a guy's research on... Wait, no. Wait, no, no, no. Take the book. This is a guy's research on Lorcan. <clears throat> and he must have... And that research must have led him here. But I didn't find anything about about Mazalf or the Dwemer in his book. He must have been just getting that... Just getting to that part in his research. All right, we opened up a door... Unlocked it with our room key, and there's a charge again. 
Here we go. Me and Lydia. I've been poisoned. Great. <sighs> what does that mean? I'm going to my active effects. It said I've been poisoned, but I have no active effects. Alright. I guess it's fine then. We got a chest on a table here with an apprentice lock. Our lockpick stash is getting low. There it is. A flawless amethyst. Nice. And an amulet of Mara. Oh my gosh. We are going to collect all of the amulets of the divines here. <laughs> okay, we are proceeding forward. We have another Falmer. Okay, now this is an interesting room. This is, a, this, is a, this is a giant chamber that goes down. And there's like a channel running through the middle of it. But it doesn't have any water in the channel. And then across on the far side, we have two Falmer. So they're coming on around to us. Gonna get Addy out. Oh no, there is water on down in the channel. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if this was maybe a water source for the Dwemer. Okay, so yeah, I got hit with a with an ice ball. I was gonna get out my freeze enemy shout, but by literally by by the time it took me to just run over to the fight, Lydia already killed one of them. <laughs> Silver ore, nice. All right, I'm down in this water channel. I wonder if this is what it was though. This was some sort of water collection reservoir. But I don't know if, if this was drinking water or if they were using water as a coolant. I don't know. Because because you know for a lot of the stuff here in Skyrim, the developers did figure a lot of this stuff out. And it's um, like a lot of stuff here was not just put here by random. And so it's really fun to just try to figure out what was this used for. There are two doors on this far side. Okay, there is that. That door looks to go into the next place. So I'm going to run on over to this other door here. There's already a char... Ah! Alright, so I almost got stabbed with some... With, um, with some spears that came out of the wall. And it's a, and it's a buggy one. Oh my gosh. Oh, these things are disgusting. Okay, ah, jeez. I try to just take him with my sword, but he's but he's putting a lot of damage on me. Oh! I squashed him. I stomped on him with my foot. <laughs> that's a that's an interesting animation. <laughs> Very cool. Dwarven spiders. Why was that bug locked up in here? I don't know. There is probably no lore reason as to why that bug was locked in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Steel plate bracers of imminent archery. Bows do 30% more damage. Alright, yeah, we gotta take those. Corunda Mingot. 200 gold. And a jade and, em and emerald circuit. Circuit. Oh my gosh. And a jade and emerald circlet. Wow. That was some great loot. All right, yeah. Um, um, and I'm starting to get up there and carry weight. Maybe I'll have to give my dwarven block to Lydia. All right, where is next? Okay, this is our next room here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to try to keep... These, these episodes on the shorter end, I like around 40 minutes. And I think we're about there at the moment. Um, but yeah, before we leave here, let's enter into the Mazalt 
Aedrome. Okay, yep, and there's a Falmer in the distance. And I think, and I think this is where we want to be, yeah. Um, I don't have the quest arrow that says go through another door. I have a quest arrow that says our next, our target is here in this room. And that is where we'll probably find actually some living synod researchers and we can learn about the Staff of Magnus. And we will do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for listening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you enjoyed. I am Mr. Navens, and I'll see you in the next one.